Okay, guys, what we're looking at here is the 65K OLED display. And to get some idea of the size here, you can see the uh, that in comparison to the uh, encoder, rotary encoder. I want to plug this in, and this is the SSD1331 version, which is a little bit bigger than the ST7735. And there it is booting up with, with the screen. And there we have it. Uh, it operates on two, um, two VFOs. Right now it's on VFO A, and you can see it boots up at 14.2. Uh, and the little red square to the side there uh, tells you that it's uh, functioning. Uh, that's the functioning VFO. And if I, um, uh, I had to use some triple wires, a little hard to do here with uh, two uh, two hands and one holding the camera. But uh, just to uh, kind of show you here, I'm going to touch the encoder, and you can see the digits changing. So it is tuning, and if I put some jumpers in there, what I'd be able to do is uh, tune VFOB. The startup frequency of VFOB is 14.074. Um, you are capable of um, selecting sidebands. So right here, if it's on lower sideband, you throw that switch, it says LSB. You have a step tuning rate that lets you tune all the way up to uh, 1 megahertz steps. And this is VFOA, and then VFOB would appear in this space here if I put those jumpers in. Um, this is really small, uh, and it is a colored OLED, so it's kind of fun. There was a little bit of difficulty in programming this um, because of just my unfamiliarity with the UCG library. This is a universal color graphics library. And, and as a matter of fact, uh, whoever put this together, I think it was Adafruit, you in fact can um, tune um, various uh, libraries are all built into this and you just null out the one you don't use. So either for the SD1331 or uh, the ST7735, uh, and there's a whole bunch of others in there too. Uh, you just uh, unnull it, and uh, away you go. And this uses SPI, so there are seven connections total, uh, which include uh, the SDA and SCL, which are on the SPI pins, not the, the standard uh, analog 4 and 5. It uses uh, 13 and 11. And then there's a reset pin, and then there's uh, the uh, DC and uh, the CS, a uh, chip enable. And then uh, you have to supply 5 volts and ground, so you use a total of 7 pins. And uh, uh, so far, I've been pretty pleased with it. Uh, there is a little bit of a lag when you uh, when you tune the encoder. you got to be tuned it very carefully to go right by the frequency because it's pretty small. Uh, you have some choices of font size. Uh, there are two different fonts uh, on, on this display. And uh, the uh, ST7735 actually has a white background with different letters. And that might, de depending upon where you're at, it might be easier to read. But uh, the, the letters are a little bit smaller. So anyway, this is Pete, N6QW. This is just a brief movie here on the uh, ST7735. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to pull this here, and then I'm going to reboot it, essentially. And it even has the splash screen on it. And when it boots up, yeah, and the multicolored splash screen, then it goes into the uh, the program. So uh, this promises great hope. You'd, you'd uh, take the normal uh, uh, I2C pins. Again, this is operating SPI. The I2C pins, A4 and A5, and they run the SI5351. This does have a tune function. Uh, so when you hit tune, it produces an audio tone, and and the uh, uh, what I'm planning on doing where it says uh, Paisano SSB TCR, uh, that'll disappear and it'll say tune in that place, and when it's done tuning, it'll go back uh, the Paisano. So kind of kind of neat what you're able to do with these. Uh, you can almost detect the flickering uh, via the camera here, but you don't see it uh, to to the naked eye. So this is uh, Pete, uh, N6QW, we're, we're tuning it here a little bit, and you can see some of the frequencies, and it will jump 3 kilohertz if you go to lower sideband. So anyway, uh, we'll end this video here. Uh, great promise, uh, small size, low power, and color. So this is Pete, N6QW, signing off.